we had a lot of good plans, we thought, and, uh, and really felt good about this game going into it, thinking that we could um, confuse them with the two quarterback rotation that we uh, did in the beginning of the, of the game there with, the, with the Trevor's first 10 and then, and then JT's second 10. And, and I thought our team showed a lot of desire. They didn't quit. They didn't execute great all the time, but um, they tried it. They tried to win that game, I guarantee you. There was nobody that was goofing around or anything like that. We knew at halftime we had 30 minutes and uh, to have a chance to uh, obtain our goal, you know, and, and win a championship or at least get in the Western Division chance. But uh, we let that opportunity go. But we're 0-1 in our new season. There's still some things that we can do that would make it uh, be a, a very good year. Uh, but it's going to be uh, hard to come back. But Tulane did it. They came here. They beat us. There's no reason why we can't go someplace else and do it. It's real disappointing to be on the cusp of having the opportunities that we've had uh, last week and this week, and especially against people that we think we can compete with, which we did. We competed, but it came out on the wrong end. But, but uh, I guess they're on scholarships too, you know, at, at the school. So, um, but I, they played well. Uh, they deserve to win. Uh, we didn't play good enough to win. We, Again, couldn't stop their running attack. They uh, went to that in the second half. We confused their quarterback with our coverages. He made some mistakes early. He was confused underneath the center with his checks. He did a great job of that. So then he just said, the heck with it, I think, at halftime. He said, let's just run the ball. And they did. And we're banged up inside there. And we were shelling guys in and out. And it was a, a hard-fought game. I thought Trevor played OK. You know, I think he can play better. Um, we're not, our offense isn't really clicking, you know, and compared to what we can, what we think we can do. And um, we just, uh, we couldn't protect early and in our five-man protection, our six-man protection. We finally had to go to the, even the tight end and the block in the back and the block, which is something we normally do. And then, uh, you know, the, I think the kid just played that ball well. I don't know if Trevor double pumped it or what. He was going to go down to the, the guy on the left side on that interception, you know, uh, but he, he was bump, bump and run on that side, so he threw it to the wide side of the field. The guy just made a great play. I guess if it wasn't cover two, and it was cover four with the coaches in it, and it was a great play by him. We were considering calling runs of all throughout the, the uh, third and fourth quarter. We weren't panicking, you know, um, until we got into the until we got into the media offense, but we weren't really. Panic, and we were talking about the runs and putting JT in, and then they scored, and then the interception that was that took so much time. They had the ball so much uh, compared to us. Um, I don't know how many more times they had the ball, but I think it seemed like it was a lot. We didn't have the ball very much, and they just kind of he did a nice job of ball control and play selection and calling those runs and throwing the ball short when they needed to. Part of it is uh, we're we're not real um, big uh, with the defensive lineman in there. We're not uh, real big with our linebackers. Not, you know, 240 pound linebackers like that. We're more of a, of a running run the ball team and uh, stunt with the linebackers and that's what we were doing and we just weren't strong enough. They just kind of engulfed us and I didn't think that was going to happen. They were better on the offensive line than our defensive line. If they can win, we can win. And I think anybody in this league can beat anybody else, it looks like to me, from what the, what's going on with the, with the, um, the opportunities that were uh, still available to us before this game. So um, I think we're going to I think we're going to work hard. Our players aren't going to give up. This is a must-win for us, and um, for us to reach our goals, we've got to go to Marshall, which isn't an easy place to win at against a tough, hard-nosed team. And we have to be tougher and hard nosed. We've got to play the game better than they do. Basically, it was we did not think Trevor would play uh, in this game. Uh, and so we would plan to go with Tra uh, uh, JT all the way, actually. And so all of, uh, we practiced that all week long, except for a little bit on, on uh, Thursday. And then he was really feeling good and feeling fine. And, and uh, so we felt like, well, let's, you know, uh, things are. Our best chance to win with, uh, our best, in our opinion, our best quarterback, and uh, so that's why we started him, and then 
let JT come in because we practiced those plays and run those plays. We thought they were going to be pretty successful. And they did some of them work. You know? No, I think it more was yesterday. Um, actually, last night, really. So it wasn't because he just he looked real good on Friday. And so we put some plays in and said, well, we better practice these plays on Friday. And that's what we, what we did. No, they didn't slow me down at all. I just didn't make the plays when I had the opportunity. I felt like, or I felt like, we had a good opportunity to win the game all the way till the end. And two crucial turnovers at the end of the game uh, is not acceptable. I thought I was down, definitely. I guess they didn't have a good camera angle to be able to see it. But I felt like my knee was down when the next guy hit me and then I dropped it. Um, defense made a good play, um, left the ball hanging inside, and, uh, you know, he made a good break on the ball and made a play. We have to come back to work uh, tomorrow, starting tomorrow. This, uh, I feel like this is a must win for us. Um, you know, Tulane can come in here and beat us in our house. Uh, we got to we gotta do all we can to try and go to Marshall and get a win. Um, I feel like, uh, you know, our backs are against the wall. And I think we're going to fight back and, you know, try and take it to our I wouldn't say that, but, you know, they was driving. We just had to stay tough, play tough. I mean, the last time we played running ball pretty good, so I was expecting to run it more. Uh, I didn't really expect them running that good. Everybody just needs to focus and play their takes and play their assignments and just go hard, I guess. Well, we got a lot of guys banged up. I want to say it's just it's hindering the defense too much because I mean, somebody get hurt, the next guy got to step in, but I mean, it's not too much of a problem right now. We just got to start back tomorrow and just get in there and watch film, see what we did wrong so we can wreck ourselves and try to uh, defeat Marshall next Saturday. So I want to say they changed too much. They just ran the ball a lot more. No, since I've been here, you tell we haven't had a winning season yet. And I really didn't know what to expect. But I didn't expect it to be like this. So. Nah, I don't think we was tired. I don't think we was mentally tough enough. Just, just had to march the ball down the field on this a couple times. It was, it was good to have. Came out and scored after. We knew it was going to be a fight until the fourth quarter, so I didn't think it was over after that. We knew it was going to come down to the last five minutes. Just start back tomorrow. We gotta see where we messed up at. We'll come out and beat Marshall next week. We can't dwell on the loss. This game is over. We're just gonna come out next week. They ran the ball a little bit. They got the um, beginning. They was running outside. Then second half they started running up the middle. Very surprised. Thought we had the game in the bag.